Thanks for joining us. This is the second introductory video in our Dynamics 365 Field Service Series. This video will cover the Case to Work Order function. I'm Ken Farmer, President and Solution Architect for Dyn365 Pros. Let's get started. Dynamics 365 Field Service uses built-in workflows and processes to help your team be more efficient. One typical scenario is the creation of a work order from a service case record. This conversion process is best applied with work order templates pre-created for the various service call types that your business might use. As part of your ongoing administration, users will create templates or incident types that will be used over and over to populate data to the work order when they get created. An example would be a regular service maintenance visit. This incident type would have certain parts, labor hours, and service tasks that always apply to this kind of service call. Converting the case to a work order is simple, especially when you have the various templates created. You can create and use as many templates as you need. Users will fill out the information needed on the case record, then click Convert Case to Work Order. When the new work order record opens, you will see all the information from the case and the incident type populated correctly. The rep makes any adjustments, can add suggested service times, and then the work order is ready to schedule. Dynamics 365 Field Service is highly configurable for your type of business. Your scenarios and your best practices provide the base for our configuration of your application. Work orders can be created with or without a service case depending upon your need. Thank you for joining us today. In our next video, we will focus in more detail on the work order templates themselves. Hope to see you. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel.